Hey everybody, Trish here from MTech with yet another exciting update for Google Classroom. We all knew that the About page disappeared with the new update. Well, it's back, kind of. We now have the ability to add materials to our Google Classroom and I'm excited to show you how it's even new and improved and better than the About page was before. So the first step is to make sure that you open up one of your classrooms in classroom.google.com and I'll show you how we do this. So I'm in my new Google Classroom and you can see that I'm in the classwork tab of the of the actual classroom. So we know we have the stream, we have classwork, classwork and we have people. Now what I can do is I have the ability to add materials as opposed to having to add an assignment. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go ahead and hit create and you'll notice that material is here. When I go ahead to add my materials, again, I can add this to just this Google Classroom or I can post it to multiple Google Classrooms at once. And I also have the option to choose which students get this. Usually materials go to everybody. But perhaps something that I've done is make a Google site to hold all of our different content and things like that. And maybe I have a syllabus I'd like to add. I'm gonna go ahead and say our class site. I can give it a description. Here is where topic is really important. What you need to do, and what we recommend, is you go ahead and you create a topic. You could call it about. In this case, I'm gonna call it class materials. Now, from here, I have the exact same options I've always had when I'm creating any type of assignment or in a post in our Google Classroom. And so I can choose to put in a link, I can choose to put in something from Drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose from my Drive and in my recent will be my syllabus I've just made. And then perhaps I wanna be able to add a link to our site. Here is our Google support site. Perhaps you've built a site for your classroom using Google Sites. And I'm gonna include that link here as well. Add that link. And maybe I'll call it our class site and syllabus. So now I'm all set. And again, I can choose to post this right away. Or of course, I still have the options I've always had of being able to schedule or draft this. So now, once I'm set, I can go ahead and say post. Now, the topic has been created for class materials. I can continue to add multiple things underneath this topic, which is really fantastic. Now, in my particular case, I want my class materials to always be at the very top of our classwork stream. That way, students aren't having to search for it. Now, with the new Google Classroom, you'll notice that the three little dots, the ellipsis, beside any of the topics, you'll notice you have the option to move up and down. And so I can go through and move this up so that it is now at the very top of my classwork portion of the Google Classroom, and it will stay there. I continue to be able to add more materials to here if I want. So that's it. It's pretty exciting. It's really nice to be able to highlight that those materials are there, and one of the best parts is you can reuse material posts. We know before in the old Google Classroom, you could not reuse the About section. So now when you are going in between classes or making new classes for your new term or your new year, you can go ahead and reuse the uh, materials post you had from a previous class. So give it a try. I hope this update was helpful. If you have any questions, just give me an email and let me know. Bye, everybody.